back again. I'm back again. I hope you enjoyed the prayer this morning. Um, I hope, hope you're doing okay. Um, if not, if not, you will be okay. Just keep speaking to yourself. I'm going to make it. Keep speaking to yourself. Keep speaking to yourself. I'm going to overcome. Keep speaking to yourself. I'm a winner, a winner and not a loser. When you look in the mirror, begin to keep speaking faith. Speak faith. Change, change your whole conversation. If in your conversation, in your life, if any part of your life, go in your mind and meditate. And in your mind and meditate, think about things. Think about habits. Think about things you do. Think about habits you do. Things you do that God might not be pleased with. Things you do that may not be right, that you know that's not right. All those things, all those proclivities and all that. What you need to do, you need to meditate in your mind. Meditate in your mind and then ask God to take those things away. Or ask God to, 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 to get you to, to, to recognize those moments and then give you the strength to remove them. Every week, every week problem, every habit, everything that's in the way, every stumbling block, every uh, issue, every personal issue, every mental issue, any kind of issue that you have, ask God, ask God, call it out and ask God to give you, take it away. I'll give you the strength to remove it. See, God is taking the taste. God is taking the appetite. God is changing things. God, this is what God is doing and this is the prophet word and it's not going to be long, not going to be long at all. Um, it's like, it's like when, just as an example, when a person is asleep. When a person is asleep and you're sleeping in a dark room, but then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you sleep in a dark room, but all of a sudden you get up and you turn the light on. And when you turn and when you turn the light on, oftentimes when you've been in the dark for a long time, you've been in a dark place for a long time. When your eyes been closed for a long time, in a dark place for a long time, immediately, oftentimes, when when you just flick the light on, what happens? There's an adjustment period. There's an adjustment period where you're trying to your eyes are trying to adjust to 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 what you what you see now. A new place, a new sight, a new view, a new a new a new process a new relationship, a new conversation, a new touch, a new move, a new thought, a new way, and a new promises. See, see what it is, is there's an adjustment period. Many of you are going through an adjustment period from, from darkness to light. There's a transformation. There's a transformation that's taking place in this transformation. It's like, it's just like uh, when you go from earth, when you go from earth to space, when you go from earth this world to space, there's a place, there's a transformation, there's a place where you have to go through where there's a whole lot of fire. Magnetic field, there's a whole lot, of, there's, there's what you have to go through this fire. You must go through this fire and there's a certain period of time at, at the speed that you're going at that, that, that you should get through this, you should get through it. And so God has already prepared you. God has already prepared your suit. God already prepared your mind. God has prepared your eyes. God has prepared your heart. God has already prepared everything for you to be able to deal with the pressure and deal with the fire and going through this magnetic field. This magnetic field. And so then you go into this spiritual magnetic field where there's an adjustment period where, you are, you are, you're grabbing your face, where you, your, your head is bowed down because you are trying to gather yourself to see. You are trying to gather yourself to focus. See, that's what it's done. God is refocusing. God is refocusing your lens. God is refocusing your eyes. He's refocusing your understanding. He's refocusing your way. He's refocusing your way of thinking. He's refocusing your way of, of living. He's refocusing your way of talking. He's refocusing you. He's refocusing you. And so in the focus, in the focus is the adjustment. And in the adjustment, what adjustment, adjustment is, uh, is something you ask for. The, in, in this adjustment, it's something that you ask for. Because you in a situation where you need, you need God, you need a direction, you need, the, you need the right direction. You don't need a direction, but you need the right direction. And the fact that you need the right direction, you need God. You need God to, to come in and you need God to, to, to become uh, your, your, your uh, what's the word, um, um, compass. God to become your compass, to be your guide. Uh, and, and, so, and so you've been crying out. And the thing that you've been crying out for is wisdom. You've been asking God for wisdom. You've been asking God for wisdom. And that wisdom is coming. That wisdom is that wisdom is coming in the form of adjustment. See, there are things that you don't understand. There's things that you don't like. 
See, but the thing about the things that you don't like and the things you don't understand, those are the things that God, God suffered to come your way. See, because the things that you don't like, God want to heal you and deliver you from the things that you don't like. God want to get you to change the way you think from the way you like, to learn how to cope, to learn how to deal with. See, 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 wisdom is the ability to know how to adjust, to adjust to every situation, to adjust to every, every scenario. That's wisdom. Wisdom is being able to conform. It's being able to be able to apply uh, uh, what it is that needs to be applied in that situation to find peace, to find understanding, to get, uh, to, uh, to be able to have peace. And, and see, and see this, is what, this is what you're coming into. This is what you're going into. You're going into, you're coming into a level of peace. You're coming into it because even when a person, when, when, when that spaceship is going through that magnetic field, that, that field of fire, at a certain point, once you, get, once you get through that pipe, once you get to that fire, and you get into space, everything will become calm. Everything will become calm. Become calm. And so you're laboring, you're laboring, you're laboring that adjustment. That process, that process of what's going on, that process of what's happening, that process of the transformation. The Bible says, after you suffer a while, then he will make you perfect. Perfect is, the word perfect is more developed. That's what God is doing. God is developing and he's making us, and he's making you through the pain, through the rejection, through the things that you, you, you encounter in, uh, he's making a greater development. He's developing, he's developing, he's adjusting. He's developing, he's gesting, he's molding, he's shaping. And so and so and so many of you is like it's like the place where the the caterpillar and the, uh, goes into the butterfly. The first stage is the the pupil stage. Uh that you got the, uh, the next stage when then you got the next stage where where he's out the egg and where he's just eating. Where where he's just eating and uh he's, he's out the egg and he's eating. But then the next stage is when the the, 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 the the butterfly or the caterpillar transforms and gather, and gathers wings and in those wings that that butterfly begins to fly and so this is where this is where you are right now see the wings are getting strong that's what it is the wings of your understanding get strong the wings of your focus are getting strong the wings of your patience are getting strong the wings of your hearing is getting strong the wings of your authority are getting strong the wings the, the wing the wings of healing the wings of understanding, the, the, the wings of power. Many, all those things that God has, has, has given you, they're, they're becoming more developed. They'll become more stronger. So you need to know that, that the trial of your faith, the trial of your faith, it work of, it work of patience. You need to know that the trying of your faith, it work of patience. And then that patience, that patience but all, it, it's been part of the process of shaping you. The pressure and the patience is the hand holding you. The pressure is what's cooking you. The pressure is what's shaping you, but but the hand is what's holding you and also what's molding you. It's molding you while you heat, while you. It's just like being in a kiln when when pottery, when it, when the potter when the pottery and, and the clay is in the kiln and that fire, what happened it had to be shaped. Got to be shaped a certain way. It already had to be shaped a certain way, so God had to shape it a certain way. Then what God shaped it a certain way had to put it back in the fire to, to cook it to that look. There's a certain look that God wants you to have. There's a certain uh, position, disposition, a certain, a certain mindset. There's a certain focus. All those things that God wants you to have. And so that's why he got you right there and burning. You burn right there with that way you can stay right there. Stay in that look. Stay in that mindset. Stay in that way of thinking. Stay in that understanding. Stay in that wisdom. Stay in that power. Stay in that authority. You're right there. Right there. I want you to stay right there. Right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Let them change you. Stay right there. Let them bring you out. Stay right there. Stay right there. Let them hear you. Stay right there. Stay right there. And let him let him work on that thing that you've been running for. Every time you get close to him, you get nervous and afraid. Let Stay right there. This time don't run. This time don't run. Let him work it. Let him get it all out. Let God get it all out. Not just half of it. All. All. Not, not, not some. Not some. Not, not some. All. Let them hear you. Let them hear you. Let them hear you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, heal them. Bring them out. Bring them out in the situation. God, bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. God, you're shaping. God, you're shaping. God, you're molding. God, you're molding. God, God, hope. God, keep your hands on them. God, as you're shaping. God, as the image of, of what the reflection of what you what you see in your mind that you want them to, to reflect. 
God, God, you're causing the flame, God, you're causing the fire to burn in that way where they where they stay right there. Stay in that certain position. Stay in that certain faith. Stay in that certain mindset. Stay in that certain understanding. Stay in that for a certain authority. You only have the conflict bonus. Oh, that bonus, that bonus is growing. And stay in that place of bonus. God is building, God is calling your bonus to grow. God is building, God's calling your confidence to grow. God is building, God's calling your, your wisdom to grow. God, you're growing, you're growing, you're, growing. you're expanding, you're expanding. And because the Bible says the trying of your faith. Work of patience. And in that patience, the patience is God's hand. And in God's hand, God is shaping. And in God's hand, God is making. In God's hand, God is molding. In God's hand, God, God is renewing you. God is renewing you. And he's going to resent you to himself. And so be ready, be ready. Just know, just know you're being shaped. You're being shaped from the pressure. You're being shaped. From the pain, you're being shaped. From the hurts, you're being shaped. From the rejection, you're being shaped. You are being shaped. And so take the shit. Take the shit. Take the shit. Because you're being shaped in his image. Take the shit. Don't complain in the shit. Uh, don't get upset in the shit. Don't be crying out. Don't be crying to people. You cry to God. But don't cry and, and complain and get on the phone and talk to your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Why are you in the shit? Why are you in the shit? Let the shit take you. Let the shit move you. Let God work on you. Let God work on your mind. Let God work on your heart. Let God work on your conversation. Let God work on your eyes. You're know, all that. Let him work on it. 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 On it. Let him work on it. Let him work on it, God. Let him work, work on him, God. Work on him. Let him work on you. And that's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. He's doing that. And then saying that, and then saying that, in his presence, in his presence, there is peace. In his presence, in his presence, there is joy. I will linger. I will stay in his presence. Day by day, until his likeness may be seen in me. God bless you. Have a good morning.